to Jam of the Week on the Zim video. I'm the Zim. This is where we discuss and I review and discuss music. Um, and today we're going to talk about Chris Stapleton's album. What was it called? It's a, it's a new one of the double albums that he just put out. Um, From a Room Volume 2. We're going to talk about that one today. And so to start off, I like to look at I like to look at three three areas um, specifically about the uh, the album and the first one is like Sonic Landscape like where did it take me in terms of like is, like when I listen to the whole album all the way through like does it feel like where did I go where did it go does it feel like it takes me anywhere um, either just a visually or on a journey or whatever um, production value like the choices that were made to produce it like um, style and and then ideas or, or quality of um, those kind of things and then does it feel new fresh or inspired to me um, those are the those are the three areas I like to look at um, to start off with this one the first track on the album really got me I, I listened to it like I don't know how many times in a row so good so good um, the maybe it's just it kind of has this melancholy vibe but not boring or not not sleepy um but at the same time like it's talking about love and and the preciousness of it and then also like the the female vocal du duet kind of harmony idea not so much duet but like harmony idea of it really really well crafted well produced well made i loved the first song millionaire as a whole the um the album in terms of like did it take me anywhere the sonic landscape of it i think it was pretty well it had a good mix of styles and I think like to me he sounded like he would be easily identified as country I think and I didn't look I didn't like look at his bio or Wikipedia or what anybody else has said about it but this is what I hear it feels to me like the the look and vibe it, the first impression would be is like a country kind of idea but as I listen to it it very much feels like a, a, a kind of a hard rock on the mellow side or blues rock sound with like a country skin or a country kind of tonality or, or influence on it it didn't really feel like it was any one of those three genres specifically but a good mixture of all of them um and it wasn't it wasn't it's not twangy country it's like rootsy so it's an interesting it lives in an interesting place i couldn't really say this is that style of music to me it feels like it has like a little bit of a little bit of different kind of things pulling at it which kind of kept it interesting to me and kind of why I like it because I'm not a really a big country fan but but like um, especially new country where it's real twangy and just real real kind of like that pop country thing that just has that very distinct sound I'm more of like a Willie Nelson country or a Patsy Cline country um, kind of person um, kind of throwback but I like like vocal tone like that rich like like that kind of um, pining vocal kind of like that sorrow or that kind of I don't know something that comes out in the vocal of country music a lot of the times um and I think Chris Stapleton kind of hit on it pretty well because that's what really grabbed me I, like I was just browsing when I'm doing these videos for Jam of the Week I'm kind of trying to find stuff I don't always listen to so I can talk about it and I just stumbled upon Chris Stapleton somewhere I think it was on iTunes or something I listened to a couple of songs because I think he was on a chart on one of the charts on iTunes and I was like, wow, this is interesting. So I, when I got some money, I wanted to download it. So I downloaded the whole al album, and I've been listening to it. Or, and I just, I was like, I really like it. Ex obviously, that first song, Millionaire, is what I really like. The rest of the album, I haven't found another song on it that I, that got me nearly as hard as the first one. So, but I'll listen to it more as time goes on. But production-wise, so um, obviously good, clean production. Stylistically, it didn't like. Again, this one's like hard. This one, production and the new and inspired kind of idea. Um, because it's so genre-ish, it's so like, yes, we definitely heard this style of music before. It's just the way he delivered it is like on point. And it feels fresh even though it's not. <laughs> um, if that makes any sense. It just feels like he, they did a really authentic job of this without making it boring, without making it feel like it's just rehashing stuff so I liked it I liked it so tell me what you know what I think about it really doesn't matter what you think about it that matters so comment on the on this video let me know what you think of this album do you like it do you not like it do you think some of my ideas are on point or off point 
I'd love to hear about it. So in, in that same idea, um, if you're digging on it, thumb it up. If you don't like it, you can feel free to thumb it down. And then subscribe to this channel. It would be awesome. And uh, comment, like I said already, because comments are my oxygen. Comments to make things happen for me. So till next time, um, thanks for watching and jam of the week. All right. Peace.